You are not Scott Rudin, then this is not a Johnny Depp movie. This <laughs> okay, is so my you've studio. Okay, so you reunited and... with Miss Amy. <laughs> but the thing is, Amy had been a ballet dancer, had been ballet trained. Okay. And we had, we had talked about that through the years. And when I first went to California with my husband, I'd been there before, but in the early 80s, I was looking for a school to take adult ballet from because I never gave up my training. And as Amy and I got to know each other over time, it turns out that's the school where Amy had studied as a little girl. Are you kidding? And so this was a real full circle for me, from having been a ballet dancer to playing a, ba a, a ballet teacher. right. And she and I had un the understanding so well between the two of us, partly because of this common uh, school and the teacher and the whole thing, so it was kind of wonderful. Could you see it coming back? We are in the time of reboots where nothing ever really dies anymore. I always think anything with Amy. I would work with Amy under any circumstances, yeah. but Amy right now has the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, sure which is like, you know, blew the lid off of everything. And she's. You would be perfect on that show. I, well, see, I should show her something from private parts. I was talking to someone saying, <laughs> I don't think that Amy sees me as a New York Jew. She show. sees me as Emily Kilmore or maybe uh, Fanny at, at the ballet school. But uh, I thought, I should send her that tape. I'm talking about your father here. Yes. You know.